Hey, hey, welcome to my basement man cave and cigar lounge. This project has been a labor of love for several months and it's finally complete. And I'm excited to share it with you. We're gonna save the best for last, but for starters, this ain't bad. This is our 16 foot two tier bar. And front and center, we've got a 55 inch Samsung frame TV which displays artwork when it's not on. It's flanked by custom built cabinets with one and a half inch glass that displays all of our liquor and bourbon collection. And as we swing around to the back of the bar, we've got a dual tap kegerator, sink, dishwasher, ice maker, refrigerator, concealed behind these custom panels and take a look inside. Pretty cool. We use quartz countertops, which is absolutely the right material to use in a basement because it's very durable. And I think it also looks beautiful as well. And here's a closer look at the built-ins. There are several custom features in this basement. For example, these brass mesh inserts and door hardware. And then we'll swing around to the open entertainment area with large built-ins and an 82 inch Samsung TV in the middle, full surround sound see one of the speakers up there our family loves to entertain so this open concept works well for us up above we've got antique brass picture lights and all the lighting is on dimmers the theme of the basement is sort of a 19 i guess 1920s speakeasy theme with a modern twist I think we pulled it off. And then we transition into the billiard room where we've got a Brunswick reproduction table from the early 1900s in oak with dark slate felt. We head over to the uh, club or players type chairs in a rich black leather tufted. This whole room is smothered in millwork from head to toe in this very rich dark gray, almost steel blue color. The basement has four TVs, three of which are the Samsung frame. Once again, this one's displaying artwork, but it just as well could be the Cubs or the Bears game. And here's another look at the billiard table. Up above, we've got hexagonal lighting, halogen. You can see it's really nice and bright. And of course, what man cave doesn't have African skull mounts? My wife isn't a big fan of these, but I think they're pretty cool. We used hardwood floors in the basement, which is a little unique to the Midwest, but we put a couple layers of subfloor down as well as a vapor barrier, and it seems to be working pretty good. Then we transition over to the game area where we've got a lacquered table with linen cloth chairs and a big feature wall with a mural from the Chicago Coliseum back in the day. And one of the features that I'm most excited about is this built-in wine cellar, which was previously just an unused nook. 
There's a company called Stacked that makes little modular panels that you can configure any which way. So we installed them and raised them slightly, installed LED lighting in the back for effect and surrounded it with one half inch glass and I think it really looks classy. Take a look inside if you'd like. And I promised you I'd save the best for last. This is the working cigar room or gentleman's room. A lot of thought and planning went into making this happen. For example, we use spray foam insulation. It has its own ventilation with makeup air, air purification. We even have an ozone generator in there. And one other feature I'll save as a surprise for you. So for starters, we've got four uh, tobacco leather chairs. Before you walk in through the glass doors, we've got these custom brass Cobra handles that protect my humidor, or at least that's the story we're going with. <laughs> Front and center, we've got another uh, 65 inch Samsung frame TV with a custom chandelier from I think they're early thir 30s or maybe mid 40s. It was reconditioned and I think it's very appropriate for the space. Flanked by custom built-ins. And again, we've got the brass picture lights above. Once again, this room has tons of millwork. You can see as well as a really deep coffered ceiling and can lights to give that ultimate cigar lounge look. Some other features include the smoke glass door into the powder room. I alluded to the rabbit air purifier doing its job. We used uh, a jute rug and a cowhide rug. And back on the shelves, we've got these vintage cigar tins, one of my humidors, part of a, an old cigar press, as well as some really old books. And probably the feature I love most about this basement is the in-wall humidor. We furred out the wall and slip that baby in and it looks awesome and works even better. So we'll open up the door so you can have a look. It's lined in Spanish cedar so it smells awesome. Holding true at, what are we at, 68 degrees? A little anemic on cigars, but I don't know if you guys ever remember Christmas when you were kids. This, you know, you get get a new toy and you play with it every day. I've been using this room all the time and going through a lot of cigars. <laughs> uh, what else we have? That's a Bose Salon Bar in the middle there. We've got some pretty interesting photography from back in the day including these old Cubs picks, bourbon barrels, tobacco leaves. Some Prohibition bust photos. That's a model of the uh, Chicago Theater from a museum. It was decommissioned and up above we have a photograph of the Chicago Theater. It's probably hard to see. Straight on, we've got that ozone generator, which we turn on after we're done using the room for about 15 minutes, and it helps eliminate, eliminate any odors that might permeate throughout the room. Some other cool features are the leather chairs, tobacco leather chairs swivel, so if you're watching a game, you can watch it over here, or an unexpected benefit is if we're watching another game, 
and there we can look through the glass doors and watch two games at once. So for example, the other day we had the Bears preseason and the Cubs on on two different TVs. Each chair has its own little cigar side table and ashtray. And that pretty much covers all the cool highlights of the room. Of course, what says light up more than a no smoking sign in your smoking room or cigar room? <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Picked it up at an antique store. So we'll head back out. That is my gentleman's room and cig or cigar room, whatever we want to call it. As I mentioned, a lot of planning went into it. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. None of this would have been possible had it not been for our designer, Ray Duncan Interior Design out of Chicago. The lead designer on the project was a guy by the name of Tim Noss. And of course, Ray Duncan, who's the owner of the company. And between the two of them, they helped us make our vision a reality. So. Now it's time to enjoy a beer and a movie. So hope you enjoyed the tour and appreciate your comments. Talk to you later.